offline today. It's raining and it's windy. Ugh, so annoying. So we'll be testing out the plane today. I'm not going to the skate park because I feel weird in my foot. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a few times where like, I get a cramp under my foot and it really, really hurts. It's been playing up mostly all night. And every time I try to stretch my foot, it's just like a really, really excruciating pain. It's just like, it feels like someone is stabbing your foot underneath. It's just like, oh, it hurts so bad. So I'm not going skating. So what I'll be doing instead is that I will probably go and start building my glider finished. That's something to do, but I need to go and get, um, I have some, like some vinyl flooring. I have a little bit out of my workshop. I have to clean that up and bring it in here and I can cut it on the floor because my knife, uh, when I cut my foam board, the knife is like not very good at going through the whole foam board and it makes rugged edges and doesn't look nice when I use it on the table because there's nothing to put the knife can sink into. So I have to go and try and get that and see if that will work. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything else I could use, like a proper cutting mat. I want to, I want to get one, but they're, they're quite expensive in Denmark. I um, If you're in the UK, I don't know how much it is. I can't calculate that right out of my head right now. But the one I want is about a meter wide and um, half a meter, no, half a meter wide and a meter long. And that cost about 35 pounds for that mat. And that's a normal cutting mat. You know, those green ones, which got like, um, there's patterns on it so you can follow the lines and stuff. We wanted to do a complete clean today, but because the weather is so depressing and blah, we just feel like, nah, don't want to do anything. Nothing at all. Yeah. Yay, guys, caught in the rain. We are taking Sally for a walk and of course, that's rain now, but just pure like we are by the shelter area here. So, Sally's chasing pheasants. She's very good at finding them now. She jumps around in all the bushes and stuff, and then suddenly you see pheasants squawking away and flying out. Oh, man, she walks out in it. She don't like rain normally. Ooh, bounty baby. <laughs> this is a typical autumn Danish weather. Wet, cold, and rainy. Not very pleasant, really. Problem with this is that's what we're probably going to see for the next month, month and a half. And then it's going to get cold. Boo. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a big tree down there broken. That's strange. You normally hate the rain. Go find some pheasants. What's up, dudios and dudettes? Um, right now, I'm just sitting here relaxing, as I said I would do, building my plane. And I have, I'm just testing out the uh, two power things. This is going to be just a glider. Um, but I have made it so I can actually mount the power pod. Look, i got all the electronics here. Um, I'm, right now I'm just testing out. I have some old servos. I thought I want to use the old ones before I start using new ones. And they work fine. So we got the um, rudder. Working fine. And then we got aileron or elevation. And that's the only two things that's going to be in this plane. Um, I can't touch the throttle because then the propeller will go all nuts, so... I gotta say this plane has been harder to build for the reason that it's a very long and narrow plane and it has to be quite straight. Um, but itself is not that hard. I mean, let me just disconnect the power and I'll show you something. Right. There we go. Power's off. But what I do is I have this here, which is gonna be mounted on, like so. Slide that in there. And then I have my little sticks here, uh, if I can find them, I'll just use this one for now. You pull this one here all the way back till you get till, what is that, the server playing up, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, there we go. So, and that goes into, where's the hole, there. So you pop a, a barbecue skew in there and you do the same in the front, um, like this, I'm just taking this here. And pop that in, and um, then this here is going to be put on with some paper. Uh, I have cardboard to make a nose like this, and when that's going to be glued on, this is supposed to fold out. So when you open this, it'll come out like that, and you can just put the battery in that little hole in the front, and then you close it down again. Great progress on the plane. So I will continue a little bit more. I might show a little bit 
later on how I've done with it when I'm completely done. Right, some some more boring stuff. So that down there has been covered in uh, packaging tape, nice green packing tape. And I'm just going to decorate this a bit before I'm going to do that. This here is now fitted with um, a hatch, so you can put the battery. The battery is going to go down here. So it's like a little hole there. You can pop the battery in, and I'm going to use like a rubber band to hold it there in place. How I'm going to do that, I don't know if I'm out yet, but what I'm going to be doing now is to decorate this a bit. Like, I'll draw some windows out. I'm going to use this dark blue here to make the windows. Also, going to put that on top so it matches with um, the whole plane all the way down to there where the window ends. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. And then after that, I'm going to be securing the f all this piece here, especially at the bottom, because that's all going to touch the ground with extreme packaging tape. So, that's really, really nicely protected. I want to be using that because this is not only going to be a plane where I'm going to have a bit of fun with but also I hope to use this for a trainer for Paul so he can learn it. The plane is basically done. I got all the electronics for it and ready. Um, I just need to try and mount all the electronics so it sits as it's supposed to sit and um, and then I will be um, see if I can find the balance point on the plane. Uh, basically the balance point because you got to have a little bit of nose weight um, so that will be interesting to see if I can get that. Because when Paul's going to be trying to fly more, he'd never been flying an airplane before. Um, and I'm going to go a little bit ahead with the simulator on him. I got um, a flight simulator for the computer where he can actually use the same remote as I fly with. And he will have a chance to try and feel how it is to fly that sort of plane. And I'm also going to go and have a little test. But they're quite simple, fairly easy to fly. But this one is different because there's no uh, motor on it. But I thought I'm going to be bringing the, um, the motor kit for it and see how that goes. Alright guys, I'm all done really, um, there's nothing more to it, I added some decals on it, you can see that, also in the wings standing over there, got some on the boat wingtips, and um, yeah, and uh, this is really really cool, you can see how it looks, all nice, and I haven't tested yet with the weight thing, but I'll just add a little bit of weight to the nose, and I can just add a little bit more if I want to, um, as you can see I put um, the packaging tape all over just to secure it a bit, um, because foam board, like out here, that's going to be protected by the wing. But foam board here um, is normally just um, paper on top of foam. And if that get wet, you know how paper gets when it gets wet. But it is connected now. You can see, um, I've got my remote here. I use a DX8. And uh, yeah, rudder. Works fine. You can see when I move it here. And the same with up and down. And to those of you guys out there who doesn't know about RC, up, when you want to fly up, that's down here, you pull back, and that's how it does. And then when you go up, that means you're going down. So it's all right, it's all connected and ready. But yeah, it's, um, it's done, and I can show the electronics in here, it's very simple. Um, the battery tray slides like that in there, let me just focus a little bit. Um, I can just push that out a little bit. And a bit further. See, the battery is snug nice there, and I can just push it further down. What I have right here is um, a little alarm. There we go. Now I can pull this out. And you can see there's lights on this. What this is, is like a warning system. Um, just get it out. Come here. And then the battery as well. A little bit trigger, there's not too much space in there. But uh, I'll get it out eventually. There we go. So yeah, I got the battery out. I'm using. Um, an 800 milliamp uh, Turnigy two cell, and uh, to that I have connected here. This here is like an alarm. It's telling me how much power this on, and if it, the battery voltage get under a certain amount, so that I get low voltage, this will be very loud. So I have like a warning to tell me you need to get down now before um, the power runs out. So. It saves two things. It saves the battery from not going too low in voltage because lipo, lipo battery or lipo lap batteries are not allowed to get completely discharged. They have to have a minimum of, I think it's like 3% or something on them, um, but preferably not that low. And this here will also tell me, get down with the plane before you crash because there's no more power on. And this has a really, really loud beep. I can just try to do it once Paul asleep, so I'm careful, but see, that's very loud. And I said it's 3.5, so it doesn't go under 3.5. But the plane is done, and hopefully tomorrow the weather will be keeping, like, we want a little bit of breeze, um, because it is a glider, it has to have wind to get in the air. But oh, preferably not raining, and um, it would be nice if we have a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> 
So I'm sorry that all today has just been like building the symbol Sora from Flight Test. Uh, not building it, but showing you that I build it, um, that I have it now, and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so excited to go and fly it. And as I mentioned, it's going to be Paul's first time ever flying an RC plane. Uh, if it, when I get a set tomorrow, I'm sure we'll get it in the air. I'm going to bring some extra weight so I can put it in the nose in case it's not heavy enough. Um, and if I can get it probably in the air, then I will do. If not, I'll bring my power pot from my uh, FT3D over there. Uh, we still haven't been in the air either, but it's ready. It's ready now. I just need to add some graphics and decals on it, like I did to this one here. Uh, and when that's done, I can go and take that for a maiden as well. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow too. Who knows? And uh, the giveaway, yes, I am. Um, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. The giveaway. I want to try and do a live stream, and uh, which Sunday. And if you guys want to know when it is, keep an eye on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram and uh, also on YouTube. I will keep an eye out for it because within the next next 10 hours, 10-12 hours, I will post a short video telling you that in about 2 or 3 hours I'm going to be online or something like that. I'm going to do that a couple hours before I will go online and we can do the online giveaway. I thought that could be so much fun. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go on Twitch uh, or Justin TV or on you now. I'd love to do it on you now. That could be so much fun. So um, yeah, um, I'll see you guys there. Peace!